Hello guys, uh, this is Shiva Reddy. Welcome to Core Java Tutorials. In this session, I explain Java execution flow when a class contains multiple blocks like uh, static block, initialization block, and then we have a constructor. So if we have these type of uh, blocks in a class, then what is the sequence of execution we are going to see in this session. In order to demonstrate this uh, this concept, I am going to use a employee class. I already created a employee class with three member variables that is private int employee id and private string employee name. Also I created a one static variable that is company name. So private static string company name. Okay and then I, I uh, created a one static block I am just printing a display like this is static block and uh, another one I have a initialization block where uh, I am printing I am printing the this is a initialization block then I written a constructor to initialize these two employee ID and employee name uh, variables for the object and then I overwrite the two string method to return the string representation of this object and then I have a main method in this class where I have created two employee object emp1 equal to new employee of 101 and shiva and another one is employee emp2 equal to new employee 102 ready and then I am just printing these two objects so when you run this program what happens so in this class whenever uh, java trying to uh, whenever uh, jvm executing the java class first it will check if there is any assignment for the static variables okay and if that is the case then first it is going to initialize the static variables in this scenario the first step is going to do is once it load the class it is first initialize this variable static variable company name equal to java techie the next step what it is going to do is it is going to invoke static block so in this case system dot out dot print and this is a static block this is going to be executed and uh, then the initialization block into the coming into the picture initialization block is executes before actually it invokes the constructor so next step is it is going to invoke the initialization block and then it in initially it is going to invoke the constructor but the thing is the initialization block and the constructor is going to execute for each object you invoke that means you create but static block or static assignment is only happens only once in the life cycle of like life cycle of the class now when I run this program you can see the output as first it invokes the static block and then initialization block and then constructor got invoked then it is again why I am creating a another object for the employee too so initialization block is initialized and then constructor got invoked and finally we are pending this value so this is the execution of java program when we have a multiple blocks like static initialization block and constructor static block is only one time it is going to be initialized for the class and whereas for the initialization block and constructor is going to be invoked every time you create a new object Hope this concept is clear and if you have any questions comment on my YouTube video. Thanks for watching.